Well, trying to buy beer and wine in Johnson County can be tricky. Parts of the county are dry. Now, county commissioners want the voters to weigh in. CBS North Carolina Steve Sprasia walks us through the plan to fix the frustration and confusion. Steve. Well, this place behind me can sell beer and alcohol to go, but just down the road a piece, a very similar place can't. There is a hodgepodge of alcohol laws here in Johnston County. Let's show you. Restaurants and bars can sell liquor by the drink in many places. But in unincorporated parts of the county, places like Max General Merchandise on Highway 42 are limited to selling soft drinks. Down the road from Max in Meadow, beer can be sold at this convenience store because they have an attached restaurant. But two miles away at Danny Tucker's place, he can't sell any alcohol. It's pretty frustrating, you know, because everybody else can do it, but I can't do it. Some people who live in the county think it's time to level the playing field. It should be fair for everybody. A Danny Tucker store is located just about three miles outside the Benson city limits. And most of the folks who come here to buy stuff say they see no difference in Danny selling beer and wine to go than the places right down the street. And that's why the county commissioners voted to place a beer and wine sale referendum on the ballot this fall. People are going to drink it and uh, buy it, so might as well let everybody have a, sh a piece of the pie. I'd probably vote for it because I don't see why they can't sell it in the country if they can in town. Now, the referendum only applies to beer and unfortified wine. The county commissioners could have held public hearings on the matter, but they decided the best way to handle it, put it out to the public for a vote. Live at Johnston County, Steve Sprazier, CBS, North Carolina.